the words heard around the world, and I think around the street, when Nadella and Amy talked about the acceleration for Azure in the second half, and that AI monetization, that actually starts for real in January. And that's, look, ultimately, you go back to last week, the knee jerk in terms of the white knuckle moment, alphabet, street needed to hear about validation and monetization for AI. They heard it from Nadella on that call, bullish not just from Microsoft, for the broader tech sector. Did you find it out that the stock's down this morning? Oh, I, I mean, in my opinion, and we were talking last night, I mean, I think there's stock that goes green in, in terms of, I can't say today, but- This doesn't stick today? I, I'd be shocked if it sticks, because anyone that heard that conference call, you come out more bullish on Microsoft rather than any sort of skepticism because of the acceleration from Azure, because of monetization, because of commercial booking. Microsoft, one of the tech giants, has recently seen a stock price decline, currently trading slightly below $420, down from its all-time high of $468, which it reached in the first week of July. This dip comes on the heels of the company's latest earnings report, which, despite showcasing robust growth, has sparked investor concerns, particularly about the Azure platform. Yet, Dan and Ives, a prominent tech analyst, believes that this current downturn presents a golden opportunity for investors. On July 30, Microsoft reported its financial results for the final quarter of its 2024 fiscal year. The results were impressive across the board. Revenue came in at $64.73 billion, marking a 15.2% increase from the previous year and surpassing analysts' expectations by $260 million. Earnings per share were $2.95, beating forecasts by $0.02. Despite these positive results, the stock dropped by about 2.7% in after-hours trading due to concerns over slowing growth in the Azure platform. Dan Ives, however, provides a counter-narrative to this market reaction. He sees the recent dip as a minor setback in what is otherwise a strong and growing trajectory for Microsoft particularly driven by the company's advancements in artificial intelligence. According to Ives, the second half of fiscal 2025 is expected to witness a significant acceleration in growth fueled by AI contributions. This optimism suggests that the current dip could be an excellent buying opportunity, potentially leading to substantial gains for investors willing to take a long-term view. Microsoft's financial performance in the last quarter of its fiscal year was notable for its broad-based growth. The productivity and business processes segment saw a revenue increase of 11.1%, reaching $20.32 billion. This growth was driven by a 12% surge in commercial office products and cloud services, with Office 365 commercial sales growing by 13%. On the consumer side, office revenue inched up by only 3%, but the company boasted 82.5 million subscribers, up from 80.8 .8 million in the previous quarter, and a significant increase from $67 million in the final quarter of 2023. Lakin revenue also grew by 10%, contributing to the overall positive performance of this segment. The more personal computing segment reported a 14.3% increase in revenue year-over-year, year, with sales rising from $13.91 billion to $15.90 billion. This growth was driven by a 7% rise in Windows-related sales, with commercial products and cloud services jumping 11% year-over-year. A standard performer in this segment was Xbox Content and Services, which saw a 61% increase in revenue, primarily due to the acquisition of Activision. Additionally, search and news advertising sales grew by 19%. However, the real focus for investors and analysts has been the intelligent cloud segment. Revenue for this segment totaled $28.52 billion, an 18.8% .8 increase from the previous year. Server products and cloud services revenue jumped by 21%, driven largely by Azure, which reported a 29% growth in sales. While this growth is slightly below the 30-31% to that management had expected, Ives and others believe that this minor shortfall is not significant enough to justify the steep drop in the stock price. The market seems to have overreacted, focusing on the small disparity rather than the broader context of strong and consistent growth. Dan Ives emphasizes that the recent earnings call from Microsoft, particularly comments from CEO Satya Nadella and CFO Amy Hood, highlighted the accelerating role of AI. 
Ives argues that this is crucial not just for Microsoft, but for the broader tech sector. The market needed to hear validation about AI, and Microsoft delivered that message clearly. The anticipation of monetization and growth driven by AI is a strong signal for future performance. Ives points out that the recent earnings report, despite some concerns, underscores Microsoft's strategic positioning and growth potential. The company's leadership, market presence, and continuous innovation, particularly in AI, are significant indicators of future success. The minor dip in Azure growth should be viewed within the larger context of Microsoft's overall performance and future potential. Microsoft ended its 2024 fiscal year on a high note with revenue, earnings, and cash flows all showing significant growth. Operating cash flow increased from $28.77 billion to $37.20 billion, while adjusted for changes in working capital, it rose from $24.53 billion to $30.01 billion. Earnings per share improved from $2.69 to $2.95. Translating to net income of $22.04 billion, up from $20.08 billion in the previous year. EBITDA also grew from $28.13 billion to $34.31 billion. These strong financials are indicative of a company with a robust and growing market presence. The revenue growth was seen across all segments, driven by increased sales in Office products, Windows, Xbox, and LinkedIn, among others. Despite concerns over Azure, the intelligent cloud segment also showed impressive growth. Looking forward, Microsoft has not provided concrete guidance for 2025, but management has indicated that revenue should grow at a double-digit rate. This suggests that further growth is on the horizon, driven by continued innovation and expansion in key areas like AI, cloud computing, and gaming. While Microsoft shares may appear expensive to value investors, the company's robust growth and high margins justify the premium. Using the most recent financial figures, shares are more attractive than if based on 2023 figures. The valuation reflects Microsoft's leadership in the tech sector and its potential for continued growth. Dan Ives' bullish outlook underscores that the recent dip in Microsoft's stock price is an opportunity rather than a setback. The company's strong financial performance coupled with the accelerating role of AI suggests that those who invest now could see significant returns in the future. As the market adjusts and recognizes the value in Microsoft's strategic growth areas, the stock is poised for a rebound, potentially rewarding patient investors handsomely. So, Microsoft's recent earnings report highlights the company's robust financial health and growth potential, despite some market concerns over Azure. Dan Ives' optimistic perspective suggests that the current dip in stock price is an excellent buying opportunity. With strong fundamentals, impressive growth across all segments, and a strategic focus on AI, Microsoft is well-positioned for long-term success. Investors who recognize this potential and invest during the current downturn could see substantial gains as the company's strategic initiatives, particularly in AI and cloud computing, come to fruition. The market's reaction to the recent earnings report appears to be an overreaction, providing a unique opportunity for savvy investors to capitalize on Microsoft's future growth.